Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnings and this is the next video in the series. We are making inventory management system and uh, in this report, in this report, in this video, I'm going to make another report which will actually show the sale date wise and category wise because we have categories of the product and we have sold those products on any given day. So we are going to merge them both and we are going to make a report that will nicely show us the category name and the date wise sale for that category. Uh, that's what we are going to make. And if you are interested to learn, then you should be watching this video until the end. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed, why you haven't subscribed? It? Subscribe it, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload any video. Right, let's move on and let's quickly get on with the report. Oh, and next we are going to copy this report and we're going to paste it to save your and my time. And I'm going to name it, and I'm going to name it sale category wise. All right, that's done. Now let's come here and let's go to design view and let's get rid of everything. All right, how about that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the caption of it. And I'm saying, I'm saying to it that this report is basically sale category wise. Okay, sale category wise, something like that. If you want to give another title, you're most welcome to do that. Right, we're going to select the report from the corner. We're going to go to the data, uh, data record source, data tab of the property sheet. And in here, we're going to get rid of the record source. We're going to save it. And I'm going to click on this dot, dot, dot to get into the query designer. Why? Because we need some tables to fetch the data. The first table I'm going to get is the category table because this is what the report is based on. And then I'm going to get the sales table. I'm going to get the sales details table. I'm going to get the product table. There you go. These are the tables that I needed to make that report run. Now let's fetch the uh, fields that we need. So of course we need category ID and category. If we'll click here, there you go. We are seeing number of records that are created in the sales details table. That's why we see the number of records there. Now next step is basically I want after the category ID, I want the sale date because we are going to have this another factor that for every day what we have sold for each category. Now I'm not going to focus on the product itself. What I'm going to focus on, however, is what is the no, not even selling price. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested. I'm interested in quantity that we have sold. I'm interested in uh, the cross price, tax, and total price. And if we run it, we get you know the information in a nice uh, query format or table format. And now what are we going to do is we are going to do a magic. We'll go to design view. We'll go on the top and we'll click on totals. And in here, we are going to say sum, 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 sum. All right. And we're going to run the query again. Now we get nicely formatted, uh, not really formatted, but we, we got the information for each date, how many electronics items, household item we have sold. So you can see here, all right? So that's what I wanted to achieve. Now we have achieved, let's close that. Now let's go to the report design. We go to report design, we click on add existing fields. And this is where it takes a little bit of time because we have to do a formatting. I drag and drop in the details area and I knew access would do its work. <laughs> Let's get it again. All right. The keyboard on or the mouse on this laptop is really good. Anyway, I select all of this and I click on home and I say make it full black the font. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a group header, right? So we'll group this with the category wise as the report is about, right? So we'll go to report design. We click on grouping and group and sort. And there was a grouping again. So we get rid of it. So add group and group it category wise. Right. So we'll select category ID. 
So what are we going to do is we're going to get this in here. And now what we are going to do is we select this and all of this and we click right click and we'll go to the tabular view. All right. Now we have the tabular view. So we bring them here. We bring that closer to it. And uh, honestly speaking, we don't need this caption for category ID and category. But ha however, we do need the category ID. So I'm going to hide it. We actually don't want to see it onto the report. So visible no. And I want to see the category name, but I want to see it a little bigger. So let's go to the 14. Let's choose that. And make it bold maybe and make it a little wider because some category names will be bigger as well. Now let's select these and actually let's go to format. Let's shape outline transparent. Let's change the height to 0 0.3 so it looks better. And let's change uh, the top margin within the text box 0 0.05. All right. We are okay until now, I hope. And um, okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a line object here. So let's increase the width of this thing. Now let's change these captions. So quantity sold, uh, gross price, tax. and revenue all right let's select these and let's make them in the center so that makes sense now let's select these again let's go to report design property sheet and why we have selected because i want to make the format as standard decimal point one now i would go to report design again i want the object or the control called line. Why? Because I want to have a line between each record. Now there is a problem, and we change the height to zero. Okay, let's bring this report width closer to the button and the edge. Now, if I run the report, how will it look like? Let's see. And this is how our report looks like. Okay. Now, it is better, but we can make it more better. We can have the older dates on the top, newer on the bottom. So we have a sequence of the dates. And uh, we can do a little bit of more formatting, get rid of these grayish lines and this, these outlines and we can make perhaps subtotal of each category and grand total of the entire report. How about that? So let's go ahead and do that. That's why I said it takes a little bit of time. So for category, I'm going to select this grayish color. I like that because that is differentiation between the records of that category and the category ID. Right. Next thing. We are going to get rid of, as I said, we're going to get rid of the alternate color. We'll make it white. All right, now let's do the sum. So we'll go to the report design, total sum, gross price, report design, total sum, text, report design, total sum, total price, report design, total sum. And now let's select all of these and let's change the height to 0.3. Okay, there you go. We have nice looking boxes. And the other thing we're, we're going to re get rid of the grid line, grid line style top. Right now it's solid, so we'll make it transparent and we'll align this if my mouse will work on the keypad will work or mouse pad whatever you say it we'll make it bold we'll make these bold as well we'll uh, we'll make these bold as well so they are nicely looking titles 
now we're going to get one label here we're going to paste here and we're going to say it's a subtotal and we're going to align towards the right and we are going to get this title in here and we will top margin we will set it to 0 0.05 now that's done we copy that we paste here and we say it's a grand total okay and now we come here we have a sort and we do the sort on the sale date from oldest to newest i think we are ready let's go to report view and there you are you have nice 27 april 28 april 30 april 11th may and uh, you can do the analysis for electronics household items so how much revenue is great so 11483 from electronics 11600 from household very close but the household item seems to be selling more than the electronics items you can do the analysis and that analysis will help you to actually uh, take the informed decision about your stocking selling etc 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 so that's about it that's what i wanted to demonstrate in this video i hope that you have learned something if you like whatever you've seen swipe the like button share it with others maybe it will be helpful and if you are subscribed make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video that's about it i'll see you in the next one thank you see you bye bye